this is quite embarrassing that the United Kingdom received the petition submitted by Sondi Bowu and his uh, entourage demanding for a breakaway notice to the United Kingdom government that the Eurobonds are ready to break away. The document or petition have been tossed to the dustbin and uh, considered as a child's play. Uh, what an embarrassment is this? Ah, I told you people before that it is not yet time for them. They need to mature. They need to grow up. They need to, you know, and they say that they are the most educated people in Nigeria. Then they see a man, the kind of person that is standing to fight for their freedom. Look at this. A man for many years in overseas, for how many, how old is he now? He should be 60 something or 70 now. He could not speak common English. And you are standing to defend. How can you rule the people? Whereby you cannot speak English. How can you communicate with the people? And you are standing to defend the state. It's not possible. I told you that they are just started. They don't know what they are doing. It is a chance play. But we, starting from the beginner, the beginner, we, the Biafran, starting from the beginner, let General Commander Chief Ojuku, starting from him, he defeated Nigeria, just as Mazen Namdekano has defeated Nigeria in the court, in their own court of law. Ojuku defeated Nigeria, both in Ghana in Kenya. The UK, they are aware of it. He defeated Nigeria. So you cannot stand to fight for freedom without having the knowledge of what you are doing. Without having wisdom. Without knowing the constitutional right and law that will guide you on what you are agitating for. Mbatimo, UK Prime Minister, is his name Mbatimo. Mbatimo is a language of a person from somewhere. Speak a common language that every other person generally will understand. But do you need to be, of course, to obtain the education of the slave masters before you can fight for the freedom of your people? Of course. You need to know, understand the tricks of your master so that you know how to enter your master. You need to understand the tricks so if it is the language of your master, because you want to discuss with your master, you want to communicate with him, so you need to learn his language, understand every of his system, his way, then know how you will penetrate. That was what, you know, Ojuku did in school in Nigeria. Ojuku is not a Nigerian soldier, in case many, because I know many people do not know. Ojuku was not a Nigerian soldier. He was a British soldier. Now, Buhari then be compound soldier. That is Nigerian soldier. Are you getting it? Ojuku is a British, was a British soldier, not Nigerian soldier. So he school there. He knows what is at stake. He knows everything. And that was why in the court, both in Ghana, in Kenya, anywhere they go, Ojuku has the quality and the quantity in terms of education, in terms of constitutional rights understanding, in terms of speech, in terms of presentation, in terms of the charisma, in terms of the, the accreditation of what it takes to do what to fight, to agitate for freedom. Maybe uh, that could be a very loud statement uh, from the UK government uh, telling them, go and do your homework very well. You have not done any uh, underground work, demonstrations and uh, civil disobedience, and you are coming to become a graduate of Oxford University. <laughs> I love that statement. Graduate of Oxford University. Of freedom. Of freedom. You know, I am not surprised because... President, the current president, the the Yoruba man, uh, Mr. Tripe, uh, uh, with a certificate that he bought, somebody's certificate. He did, uh, and it was used and undermined in Nigeria, which cannot take place in other places. So they believe that everything, everything here, 
it's going to be like that. They don't know that to fight for freedom, you must be well equipped in all angles. I say go and start from the beginner of Biafran freedom. Go on. I say, if I pull the tape, anytime I come to the video, I come across it because it was with my dad. Then I play it. You watch, you will see, you will hear English grammar. Oh, you both. No, being Batimo. Nothing like him, Batimo. No, Batimo, dear. You will see a pure standard Oxford English to tell you that this man is well educated, well learned, well prepared. Well prepared. He knows what he's doing. So, people like UK need the people that are well educated so that you can relax one on one, man to man, graduate versus graduate, Oxford English versus Oxford English. Are you good? Californian English versus Californian English. And that is what I'm on. Mazen Nam the Kanu. Look at even in the in 24th of uh, September. Didn't you see what happened in the Nigerian High Federal High Court? He said, Hey, both of to all of you sit down. There are things you don't know about me that I know more than you people. According to the constitution of the land in Nigeria, see, 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 see. He began to open paper for them. Bint after listening to Mazen Nam the Kanu, to her. It was a very big slap to his to her professor profession. She decided to I surrender. I surrender to the case. I surrender. I hands off my hand. Mazenam de Kano. I don't want your embarrassment. I surrender. I surrender to your case. Because it's a, a full blown embarrassment to her profession. What happened in the on the 24th was a very big blow. So she decided to hands up. Look at what happened. Is it to show or so ever? The one they appointed again, that one returned the case back. They presented it to him. He said, no, I am returning this case back to who? So that, that person that started it. Nobody want to. There because if you are not well educated, to face that man in the court, don't call him. Don't invite him or else. He will jeopardize your profession. Don't you think they may go back to the drawing board and re-strategize? All kind of strategy. Which area do you want to strategize that the young man did not know? He, I mean the Sunday Bowu and the, the Yoruba agitators. Uh, they will go back and strategize. That means it's not now. That's what I said earlier. I say it's not now. Uh, I'm not saying they will not go. I'm not saying they should not No. They will do that, but not to this way. The angle they are coming is not how to get it. No be so. No be so. There are things. Uh, uh, there is what we call platform. 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 That they need to belong. Join. Are you getting it? To learn. To understand. Maybe they should uh, 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 a kind of humble themselves to Master Nam the Kano and learn. So that he will lecture them and give them the clue how to go about it so that when next they will rise ahead they will begin to hit the point the knee on his head then the embo uh, face that is a uh, uh, uk and the other rest of the world will begin to pay attention do you know how many years it took mazen nam the Kano to reach to where he is today to prepare, to prepare. sensitize the people get their confidence and the support Everything, both in the international. Do you know how many times they have framed out these petitions? Even in UN meetings, they refuse to pay attention. In G28, they refuse to pay attention. He kept pushing until today. Let me tell you, it was a woman that God touched. And God used her to pay attention, to have a hearing. From there, she pushed it and she forwarded. From there, today now. The fire door over. Then where he stopped, Simon Akman pick it up. And Simon Akman did not just end where Mazen Nam the Kano end. He pushes further. Are you getting it? To meet some personnel and in the other side to equip those that need equipment, that need some materials, that need some ideas, that need some encouragement, that need some backup, that need some pump up like a tire. You know, you pump them because like Poromboro need to be pumped to swallow up. So they were somehow pumped. Are you getting it? And they are swallowing up today. Biafra, December 2nd, our flag. 
Hot said. Then the one of the commentators and the journalists uh, from the UK said that what the Yoruba nation agitators were asking, according to the law, United Nations law for self determination, is either they get it by peace or by war. Is are they prepared if it comes for war? Yes, I believe that Yoruba nation pre are prepared by war. That is why if you watch every one of them now, war. War means war. Are you getting it? Every of their war now. War. So war means war. So I believe that they prefer. Well, thank you very much. Of course, we don't intend to sort uh, the intelligence of the Yoruba listeners. Well, whatever happens, of course, uh, entertainment and uh, in-depth analysis of events, uh, keeping it real has been a commitment to this. And we come your way. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Called Web TV is the way to go. Thank you once again. Uh, of course, you must be willing to come back here for more uh, exciting and informative uh, news. Bye for now.